Alexa, turn on doorbell. Okay. Turn on your doorbell video, please. Installing my smart digital dashboard here in the wall, so I think I might super screw. How do you fix a strip screw? Huh? I was almost there. You see that? Oh no! Oh no! Knock it in or something. You think so? Bam, let's knock it right in with a hammer or something. Uh, let me give it a couple more tries here. I'm so close. I guess I'm gonna just have to leave it alone. Dang, I'm so close. Look. Almost have it in. Damn. Try a screwdriver. So you see like on the frame TV I did, looks really good on the wall. Just gotta hide the cables now, and then that's it. And then I got my smart display. My friend is probably gonna be like, why are there so much TVs up here? But. It's okay. a bit obsessive. Yeah, I know, right? Well, all of them have different purposes, so. So, what's the purpose of that TV? Which one? This one? That one. Um, that's like a regular TV. What well, most likely to display art? And, uh, and sometimes you can watch TV, so that's the purpose of it. Yeah, this this group strip is done for. This ain't going anywhere. I might have to just give it up. Yeah, I'm just give that up. It's done for. I'll just put it in here and I'll put it in there. Oh no, this box is weird. Oh no, it's a nut. Oh no. It's an angled outlet. Oh wow. I gotta cut more. I'm not trying to cut no more in drywall. Dang. What happened? The box is angled. I was trying to have it go up, but. Damn, let's put the box. So, what do you have to do? To have to cut more drywall. I think I finally got this thing to move again. Or is it? Ah, that stupid pipe that I did not know that was in my damn way. Or you could just cut this out. This what you're not using instead of cutting the pipe. I'm not. Pipe, definitely not. No, not cut the pipe. Cut this. The back of it that you don't need. Cut that out. Because I was 
hoping I could just go in this way. But it wasn't designed to do it like that. Well, cut the back out that you're not using. The back of this. What I should have done was run the wire at the bottom. So what's the problem? So what do you have to do? I don't know. Trying to figure something out now. I guess I just need to cut a little bit more, but I wonder if it's going to... TV, I wonder where's the TV stuff at? Inside. I'm just gonna cut more drywall. That's the only solution. You're gonna cut more drywall? Yeah. We finally got it in. You see, guys? Greg, turn around. I don't know what you did to get it in. What did you do? I cut some more drywall and got it in. You got it in, you see? Was it difficult to do? Oh, what was that? Something pop off the back? Was it difficult? No, it was difficult. So how easy would you would you say installing this on a one to ten? What would you rate this? It's pretty easy. It's pretty easy. So on one to ten. Um, I would say it's probably an eight. So what's the most difficult part about installing this? Um, I guess the most difficult part to get this stuff lined up, get the right bracket. Period was the most difficult part because I had to go to Walmart to get two separate brackets. And the first time I did it, the holes didn't line up right. And I gotta redo the side, so. But it looks good now, so that's a good thing. Happy good. about that. So what was the easiest part? The easiest part was, yeah, I don't know which part was the easiest part. You gotta let everybody know. The way when um, they start doing it. The easiest part was burning the wires because that, the electrical wire, because it was, uh, a light ceiling in the bathroom from over there. Oh, that sounds like a difficult part. <laughs> Probably want to hire an electrician for that. Don't mess with wires. Mm -hmm. Don't do that at home. We want to start a fire. So you happy? You got it installed? Yep, got everything installed now. About to put everything up in here. So he's putting all the pieces in. What are you putting in? Putting a Raspberry Pi in and the Samsung box for the TV. Okay. Stay tuned. You guys see the finished product really soon. This box tight. Okay. So what stages are you at now? Um, hooking up the, uh, the electrical. Put the uh, sign off on here. Um, that's so dark in here now. And then this one is gonna jump off on the electrical wire itself, the live wire. Let's see how long that may be. Once we have this on the live wire, um, then the switch is going to be a smart switch from now on because it's going to always be on. So, what switch are you talking about? I'm jumping off the uh, guest bathroom. Oh, okay. Light source. Open the wires. Man, I'm hungry, though. You eat something else? Later? Just... I'm working on eat. What's in there? You want me to cook something? I think you still have some food in there, right? Mm -mm. I don't have no meat. You cook, right? Mama? I know, but it's no protein. 
Unless I said something else. What do you mean? There's no um, more um, tunas. What else you want? What you, what's that? Say what you want something else. Baby, if you want to help, you, could, um, you want to help me? Yeah, how would I got to do? Just start like putting some of this stuff in there. And where? Trash, like clean up. Oh, really? I thought you was talking about help you with the... <laughs> That's messed up, y'all. He was like, I can start helping him. I think he, I thought he was going to let me help him install whatever he installed. You know, he told me to start picking up some trash. You know what we're doing? Under really? Y'all, that was an install. I thought I was going to help with like constructing the whole project. Really? See how man do us? We need to fight for our rights. He told me to pick up trash. <laughs> Mama not good enough. Fight for uh -huh. rights? Really? Yes. Y'all heard? Did y'all hear that? Like a, a right he did. Thing, did it? Rewind this video back. It sound like he's about to ask for help with the project. He told me to pick up some trash. Really, Greg? So I can't help with the project? I you think I'm going to, uh, what, damage, damage it or something? Or break something? A okay. second. Let me pick up some trash. That's all I'm good enough for is to pick up trash. All right. Oh. Yeah, so I got everything working out. I should be an electrician, huh? The way I be putting the work in. Yeah, retire me early. So now I'm going to pull some of these wires out to make it long enough for, um, for the TV. Because the TV's going to go vertically, so I need a lot of wires out. I should have thought about this before I put all the stuff up there. So let me plug the, some of this stuff out. Start pulling them down. So what's the purpose of doing that? Pulling some of these wires back down. So why are you pulling all the wires out? Because it's, you have to be long enough to reach the TV. Oh, okay. A nice pedicure. Look at my hands. See your hands, Greg. Rough right now, Greg. Show him your hands. Look at his hands. Look at mine. I don't have to touch nothing. He do everything. So you doing? You like organizing all the cords? Yeah, pretty much. Hey, can you hold this one? So we've got these wires. You're going to get the power plug into the TV. The other one goes to the um, Samsung, whatever they call it. The one connect. You're done doing connecting all the cords. Yep. So he's connecting all the cords now to get everything plugged in to get everything connected so the TV can come on. So now I got the TV on now since it's going to go real high up. So I'm tucking some of these wires in, wires back in. Let's make me hungry, raspberry pie. <laughs> mm, sounds like a pie, but it's not. It's not that kind of pie, girl. <laughs> mm, it got me hungry. It's a lot of wire. I need to get some shorter wires or something. These wires are just long for no reason. Probably so. All these damn wires are gonna get me tucked up in the air. God, you look good though, yeah. Mm -hmm. Sexy. Putting up all the wires, but. Like a working man. Yeah, it's kind of off topic though. Yeah. Let's stick to the uh, structure content. Are you putting the TV up now? Okay. Oh, it goes that way. Oh. Is that plugged down or something? No, I Something's thought it was going the um, other way. Horizontal, I think is the word. 
Oh, there it is. All right. Oh, it says boot it up. But I remember I, I have to go in there and flip it again. So I might need a keyboard. Oh, well. He be doing crazy stuff, y'all. He... See how his mind think that way sometimes. Like, but he got it, he got it. You got it, boo? Yeah, I got it. You know I mean? See, I told him he needs to get a job doing this kind of stuff. This kind of stuff I would hire somebody to do. You need help? You got it? You yeah, got it up there? Remember when it was just a hole in the wall? Now you see the vision. It's up there, guys. You did it, baby. You did it, yay! So now I'll put this back here because the TV kind of tilt a little bit down. So what is it? Tell them what you're using. So this is what came in a different uh, mount. So I just kind of put it back here. So what does that do? It gives the TV... Uh, it gives it what? Cord. So it helps to like the balance? Yeah. So guys, if you're doing this project at home and your TV is like tilted forward, buy one of those. What's the name of it? Um, it's a string mount. A string mount. Buy a string mount to get your TV to be straighter. Okay. Mm, watch out, baby. Let's see. Look at that. Go in there and rotate that screen and bam. Boom. The finished project pro product. Look Looks that. good. You did a good job. Congratulations, boo. Now I gotta vacuum some of this dust up and I go to bed.